Hey, what's going on, y'all? I am, of course, tired, and we are going to do some more Pokemon Showdown tonight. I do apologize for not uploading anything on Sunday. I ended up being a lot more busy than I thought Saturday and Sunday over the weekend here. And uh, I, I just didn't have the time, honestly. I just didn't have the time to uh, sit down and do this. I did learn a lot about myself, though. Namely, that I am like a 40-year-old trapped inside of a 20-something-year-old body. I ended up helping my parents with the lawn, and goddamn if I was not proud of myself by the end of that. I got the lines in and everything, man. I sit back and say to myself, man, this is a beautiful looking lawn. And you know what? That's like a dad thought. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not. I feel old, guys. I feel old. But today we're going to do some more PU. I'm actually not on the same account that I was last time, so all those points are gone. And the reason for that is I'm still thinking about doing the suspect letter. I'm still thinking about doing the suspect ladder, but I do want to have a little bit of fun with this. So I have two teams, both of which are complete nonsense. So this team right here, this first one, is Trick Room with Octillery and Zvilus. Yeah, I got a little bit inspired after seeing that last dude in the previous showdown video with his Octillery, but he didn't use it right. <laughs> he didn't use it right. He didn't use it how I would use it. And uh, basically what this thing does is it just punches holes through teams and whatnot. So I have choice specs with Water Style, which is stupidly powerful. Uh, it's based on how much HP you have, so when you get lower and lower, it becomes less and less effective. But hey, if you can get it in for free and take no damage, this thing is ridiculous. 150 base power. The second strongest water move is what? 110, so it's like 40 power increase if you can do this right. And then this thing just has ridiculous coverage as well. So it has a grass move and a fire move. Uh, it, it, it has all kinds of stuff. I think it has like... No, it doesn't have Thunderbolt. I thought it did for some reason. But still, the fact that this thing gets Fire Blast is ridiculous. And energy ball, and uh, maybe even Gug Shot for like Clefairy. Clefairy would probably want to come in on this, but Water Spell probably blows that away, so maybe not. Then we have Zvilus. I love this thing. <laughs> well, I say that, but I have a love and hate relationship with this thing because of its ability Hustle, which means that it gets 50% stronger, but it also gets 20% uh, less accurate. So 100% moves are actually 80% accurate with this thing. And I give it a choice band on top of that, so altogether that's like 2.25 times power, which puts it up to like over 600 attack. <laughs> I don't know why people haven't noticed this, but if you can get this thing in and not let it die, it just kills everything. Dude, it just kills everything. And I have Outrage Crunch uh, for stab, same type of attack bonus because it's a dragon dark type. Uh, sleep Talk in case I need to put something to sleep, then this thing can go to sleep and still not be useless. And then Facade in case it gets burned for some reason. A uh, facade, of course, doubles in power if you get burned, poisoned, paralyzed, etc. It doesn't count for sleep, though, which is weird. Then I have Archaeops, which is going to sound weird in a second because this is a Trick Room team. But the reason I have Archaeops regardless is because I like to have speed control on my Trick Room teams. Uh, because there are, certain, there are certain Pokemon that are just like... <sighs> they just kind of beat Trick Room teams if you don't have something fast. So I have this here. It's it's basically the same thing as last time. Will be this time I have defog and not earthquake, which will probably bite me in the behind us as we continue. Uh, but other than that, just max HP, max speed, because uh, I need that support. And then Mesper with max HP, max special attack, uh, psychic U-turn, stealth rock, and trick room. Because these two right here, they are slow as hell. <laughs> they are slow as hell, and so is Aggron for that matter. Uh, I actually have a little bit of speed on this just so that I can get slow U-turns under trick room, because trick room reboot. Re re well, <laughs> I'm tired, guys. A trick room reverses the order that you move depending on your speed. So normally faster Pokemon move first, but under trick room, slower Pokemon move first. But I actually want to be faster in some cases so that I can get something else in safely without having to take a hit, like Octillery or Zvilus. So that's why the 16 speeds and uh, not a negative speed nature and whatnot. And then I have Audino. Uh, th there is a reason that I have these mods specifically because I, I got to the number one spot in Gen 6 in NU with this exact team uh, well with two changes uh, this is supposed to be Mega Audino what the hell is this no I don't want to change any of that keep the current look why ask me again my computer is not slow you're slow uh, <laughs> with this exact team though I got to number one in uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire NU so I'm basically just recreating and seeing how it's gonna work in PU so Trick Room, Healing Wish, Grass Knot, and Fire Blast. Grass Knot is for things like Gastrodon uh, maybe I actually don't need that. Yeah, probably don't need that in hindsight, so I think I'll do Surf Fire Blast. Yeah, Surf Fire Blast seems alright. Hyper Voice on this thing wouldn't make a whole lot of sense just because, like, Otterno is not that strong. Mega Otterno is not that strong either, for that matter. So maybe I do, like, Life Orb. Because that makes it basically the same thing. And then I have Healing Wish just so I can heal up anything else on my team. Healing Wish brings you back to full and restores data, so it's pretty nice for that. And also, it just basically lets me get something in for free, which is nice. 
Uh, and then I have... <laughs> Here's the meme mod himself. I have Aggron, right? And you saw Aggron last time. It's basically the same set, more or less. The only thing here is... <laughs> and, and when I see people eyeball it, I, I just know it. Especially people that know this game. Is the Solar Beam with Grass EMZ. Because the one thing that likes to switch into Aggron, right? And the one thing that can beat Aggron pretty easily is Gastrodon. But Gastrodon is four times weak to grass moves. <laughs> and Aggron gets Solar Beam. <laughs> Now, normally Solar Beam takes turn two turns to use. Uh, Solar Beam takes two turns to use typically, but with the Grass EMZ, it actually changes it into Bloom Doom, which goes off in one turn, in addition to just being a lot stronger. So <laughs> it can kill Gastrodon from full, even with negative special attack like this. And that's pretty funny <laughs> to be. Actually, I still want Midas Speed, though. There's actually no reason to not be Midas Speed. You want to be slow as possible for Trick Room. Then I have this other team, which is just six Ice-type Pokemon, because Ice is really, really broken. You might tell from the nicknames that I, ha I had to rethink the whole banning process a little bit. And yes, I did come around. I do think that Archeops should be banned. I'm, of course, full of crap. Ar <laughs> Archeops is fine. Aurora needs to go. That's my opinion. This is literally just six Ice-types to come in and click Ice Move over and over and over, because there are two good Ice-type switch-ins in the entire tier. So there's that. Well, let's start with the Trick Room team first, I think. I do love me some Trick Room. I had so much fun with this team in <laughs> Gen 6. I don't think it's going to work as well here. Probably not. And I probably shouldn't have... <laughs> oh, I don't know. It should probably be like... Executor or something like that. But we're not going to do that. So this guy has Sticky Web more likely than not. What with the Masquerade. As well as the... The Stoutland, which is probably Adamant Choice Bandit for super hard damage. Uh, I do have Fire Blast on this. I probably too would KO him. I almost certainly do. But I'm so not worried about him getting Sticky Web, and if he does, that's actually way better for me. Why would he do this? See, this is how... <laughs> I feel like this guy's not very experienced, because if I saw this team coming through, I would immediately think Trick Room. Although, I guess maybe with the Archeops, that's throwing him off a little bit, but I do want to get the Stealth Rock. He can't... Like, he can't kill this very easily. He could go for Bug Buzz, I guess. But he's going to go for Sticky Web. I just get the feeling. No, he does make the better play, go for Bug Buzz, that's fine. So I'm actually just going to go into Audino now. I want the Stealth Rock because Mothim, uh, and basically just all the other stuff. See, going for Sticky Web makes no sense, though, because I'm clearly Trick Room, but hey. <laughs> hey, man. We all started somewhere. He goes for Lunge. All right. I thought he would go for Quiver Dance or something like that. I can actually just Fire Blast this, honestly. I can't really talk or anything, because he's going to see the Life Orb and say, What the hell? <laughs> yeah, he's going to say, What is this? This guy's so new. <laughs> Honestly, him going for lunch here is actually good for him because I can't go into Aggron, which is what I would have ordinarily done. Uh, lunge lowers your attack every time it connects, so that's no good. Uh, I can pivot around with this, though, because Audino has Regenerator, so I can bring it back for later. Or I can even Healing Wish, depending on what he goes into. If he goes into the Gulpin, I'm actually just going to Healing Wish back into Mesprit, so I can have that as a Trick Room Setter, I think. And that might be better. It does have max HP, so it can take any hit from anyone. If I'm him, I go Stoutland, but that does give me a kill. He actually goes Delcaddy. Oh, uh, that still gives me a kill with Aggron. Because <laughs> I'm going to be slower than literally everything, thanks to his sticky web that he set up for me. He's going to go for Cosmic Power, but I'm still going to smash my head into this thing, and that should be fine. Unless this thing has, like, rest. That would be pretty wild. Uh, I do, of course, miss, which is why last time I had the Rock Z. Uh, just so that I wouldn't miss. By the way, this is not a set. Do not use Cosmic Power Delcaddy, because it's still about to take, like, 70. By the way, I just thought I would point that out. Uh, this is kind of the problem with 80% accurate moves, though. So I can't exactly complain. So he's going to keep doing this, and I don't really know why. All right. He's going to beat me because I can't hit an attack. That's just great. That's just precious. <sighs> oh, I got the crit. I deserved that, so I'm not actually mad because I'm pretty sure he would have just died on the first one. Delcaddy has, like, no defense. Uh, it's part of the game, man. What can you do? Critical hits are just a part of the game, honestly. But I'm, I'm fairly confident that Delcaddy has, like, no defense. Hold up. Yeah, that without a doubt died to the first head smash. And if not, it died to head smash into any attack. And also, he couldn't touch me. <laughs> Delcaddy only gets normal moves. He had no way of killing this. So eventually, I was just going to get a critical hit, either with that or with Heavy Slam. So that was... Yeah, he, there was no way he could have beaten me there. Unfortunately for him. So I guess we're just going to wait for this guy to come back. I'll probably just cut away. If he doesn't come back, we'll just get to the next one, I guess. 
there's nothing like wrong with this guy's team or anything though. He's just new, clearly. Well, I gotta say that lunge on the masquerade was fairly annoying. I'm just gonna find another battle, honestly. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not coming back. Yeah, he's not. And we have another sticky web team, I think, with the Smeargle. Yeah. Uh, but the problem here is that... Actually, no, there's no problem. I just lead with Archeops. I just lead with Archeops and taunt the Smeargle. Come on, buddy, you set the timer on me. You set the timer on me. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just playing around, obviously. This guy can take as long as he wants, and honestly, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I kind of figured this guy wasn't coming back. <laughs> the cosmic power sweep has failed. He actually makes the much better move and leads with this. All right, so we can clearly see that this guy knows his stuff. I'm actually going to go into my own. I don't foresee him earthquaking. He goes for T-Wave. All right, it's one of those games. Why would you T-Wave the Trick Room team? I'm actually going to kill this, in theory? No. Well, in that case, he can't kill me either, which is fine. Yeah, I'm just going to Earthquake twice. That's not really a good play because I killed this in one hit. <laughs> With Heavy Slam, even. I don't even have to go for the Head Smash. So I don't know why. Oh, he specs HP Ground. Very interesting. Very interesting. I don't really know if that's a set. Uh, <laughs> but it worked, so I can't really say too much. Now, he can't actually go back into Aggron because it will just die. Uh... I'm just gonna get my own rocks. He should actually go into his Smeargle here. He goes into Aggron. Interesting, interesting. Is it time for the room? I think it's time for the room. <laughs> He's actually gonna Thunder Wave me, which makes me faster, which is great. It's actually not ideal in this case, though, because that means... <clears throat> yeah, that's not actually ideal. Deserved. But he just... He's wasting my Trick Room now. Can I get an attack off, please? And he's not even Rockhead. <laughs> this is the kind of thing I lose to. So, I definitely 2 hit KO'd him. Without any doubt. So now my trick room is totally wasted here. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate for sure. Uh, but there's nothing really that I can do about it. Uh, depending on what his Sil Valley is though, I think I just kind of win with Octillery. He's going to go into this. And he's going to Swords Dance. That's not good. That's actually really bad for me. <laughs> Yeah, this might actually sweep me. This may sweep me. Nobody uses this thing either, though, but it's actually pretty good. So I can't really say that this doesn't make sense. If he goes for anything but Swords Dance, though, that would be really wild. Uh, I'm not going to be able to kill him in one hit, and I don't have priority. Uh, really, just getting paralyzed 20 times kind of sucked, but that is what it is. Yeah, he's going to go for the Aqua Jet. I don't think the Otter No survives. Now I wish I had the Grass Knot. Ah, I should have stuck with Grass Knot. Uh, it, it depends on what his last move is. I think if he's returned, I probably just lose on the spot. And of these two, I think that Zvilus is probably the smarter thing to go into, more likely than not. Yeah, I imagine this just sweeps me. I hope he actually has no normal move, which is great. That's absolutely great. I can still save this, actually. Yeah, I can still save this very easily. Uh, actually, him going into this makes that <laughs> not not quite the same possibility. Uh, so I'm actually just going to let him kill me. I don't know why he would mock punch there. I think I can win this still, though. Actually, yeah, I think I, just, I can win with Octillery. I don't know, shouldn't die to one hit. If he mock punches here, that's kind of annoying. He should mock, he should actually mock punch, but I can't really risk the roost because he could be wild, basically. He could do something really crazy. No, he makes the correct play, but I still 2 it KO him. With ease, in fact. So actually, I think that opens up a very, very nice hole for Otterno to come in, hit the trick room, and then Octillery has enough time. It, it actually just depends on the Sil Valley. If he's Sil Valley water, then good game. There was nothing I could really do about that. But anything else and I win. Any other mod and I win. Yeah, he's thinking hard about this one. I actually don't think he's the Sil Valley Water. Otherwise, why would he not just go into it? Uh, I know that this Chatot is choice specs, but depending on whether he goes into Smeargle or Chatot, I'm just going to taunt. I'm just going to taunt either or, really. There's no reason not to. I can't really risk it going for, like, substitute or some kind of setup move. Because that would just beat me, honestly. He is thinking really hard about this one, though. 
That's why I just can't imagine being still Valley Water because that's such an easy switch in if he was. That's such an easy switch in, especially because I'm below 50% and as you can see there, my attack gets cut in half at that point, so there's really nothing to fear. I don't think he's still Valley Water. I think he's gonna time out. Also, I have to say that I don't really agree with him not having a normal move on the barrel because if he did, he just won. Honestly, he should. In my opinion, the set is like Swords Dance, Aqua Jet, Quick Attack, Return. Honestly. Because just about everything that you would Aqua Jet will die to it after a Swords Dance. Really, just about everything weak to a water will die after a Swords Dance. And just about everything that is a quote unquote water switch in will die to one of either Frustration slash Return or a Quick Attack if it's faster than you. So Babero's definitely a huge threat. <laughs> I got a little bit lucky that he didn't have the set to beat me. That's why I think that, like I said, the double priority set with frustration is definitely the way. Definitely the way. I think we win. Yeah, he doesn't have the Sil Valley Water. He must realize that he's going to lose. <sighs> Don't beat this guy, though. If you're going to quit, then just forfeit, man. There's nothing wrong with forfeit. Like, <laughs> some people just can't swallow their pride. I swear. Some people just cannot take an L. Yeah. Was he high up? Because he, like, he didn't play poorly or anything. It's just... No, he just... Okay. <laughs> Alright, that's how that goes, I guess. Uh, should we switch to the Mono Ice? Let's do Mono Ice. <laughs> it sounds really bad because Stealth Rocks actually just beat me. Magma Dragoon. Isn't that a Mega Man boss? Uh, so we have... Banaroris. Uh, I could lead with Banaroris for sure. But then again, Banaroris is pretty good as well. I think he may just lead with his Ditto. Ditto is actually not a horrible lead for him. Considering that just about everything that I can have can beat itself. Uh, Looking at a hard? Honestly, Kingler, right? Kingler? You lead with Kingler. Uh, I forget if... I gotta, I gotta check this really quickly. Is Obama Snow faster than Kingler? 60 versus... Kingler, where are you, bud? No, I'm not. So actually, I'm gonna lead with Articuno. Yep, he does lead with Haunter. This is why I wanted to lead with Articuno, because I definitely have... Uh, I mean, this is essentially my best bet for this, because I have decent spadep, and I have maximum HP as well. I say decent. Wow, 286. That's uninvested, folks. <laughs> I have no special defense investment, and it's just that high. I'm actually max HP, max speed, because I'm Substitute. Uh, substitute Roost. He actually has Thunderbolt. Is he Choice Scarf? I think he is Choice Scarf, actually. Uh, it's very likely that he is. I'm actually going to go into Aurorus if he Sludge Bomb... Or, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to go into Haunter. No, excuse me. Obama Snow. There we go. And the reason I want to do that is because I do have Ice Shard. He goes into Ditto now. Fair play. Now, this thing is actually a huge problem for me because it can just go for Focus Blast, honestly. <laughs> I've undone myself. He can just focus blast and something's gonna die. What do I not need? How much you wanna bet that Articuno takes two focus blasts? I'll bet it does. Yup. <laughs> Great, so I can actually just go for Roos. He shouldn't stay in. Mm, yeah, he shouldn't have stayed in because I could have killed that right then. But not only does he do no kind of damage, I can just go for a Roos. And now I can just Hurricane. He doesn't have a switch in. Yeah, that's the thing with Focus Blast. It is 70% accurate, and down goes Ditto. <laughs> I should not be winning with Mono Ice. He can't really reasonably go into much of anything, though. I guess Haunter, though, can come back in. Uh, he can actually just freely go for a Sludge Bomb this time if he wants. Do I need the Rotom? Do I need my Choice Scarfer? I suppose it would be nice for Kingler. In case that thing gets out of hand. It does learn Agility, and that's a fairly common set. Do I make the hard Sand Slash play? I'm real. <laughs> Let's just lay it out there. He's going to go for Sludge Bomb. Oh, Shadow Ball. That's a much better play. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay, I'm going to sack uh, Abomas. No, <laughs> actually, there was no reason for me to make that play. Ah, uh, that was a bad play on my own part. It is unfortunate that he got the special drop on me, though, because without that, he wouldn't have been able to go for that. He would have had to go for Thunderbolt. That was the good play, though. Yeah, thinking about it, he should have definitely went for Shadow Ball and not Sludge Bomb. Uh, that's what I get. <laughs> Obama Snow, go. Will this die? It certainly will, but he's gonna die too due to the hail. And that's actually gonna give me a free switch into really anything that I want. Literally anything that I want. I'm actually gonna go back into this. Uh, if he goes into his Kingler, that's a good play. 
But I, I expect muck, which is why I'm going into this, so I can just hit it with an earthquake. And really? <laughs> as stupid as Mono Ice is? I think. Oh, he actually goes Kingler. Huh. I'm honestly just gonna drop my Z move. Even if he goes for the swords, or excuse me, the agility, that's fine. That was a crit, that did no kind of damage. Yeah, that's still not actually gonna outspeed me, I don't think, because I'm jolly. He might outspeed me. Nope, he doesn't. He should have attacked me. I did get the crit, which is unfortunate, of course, but attacking me was definitely his better play. Now, if this has Shadow Sneak, that's not a particularly great set, but it would be it'd be beneficial for him here. Yeah, Shadow Sneak is insanely weak on Muck, so I don't really mm, I don't really like it personally. Now, honestly, I just need to chip damage this a little bit. Which we could do pretty easily with Aurorus. And honestly, from there, I have so many things. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Earth Power this twice. There's actually no point for me to go to Rocks. That actually does nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's cursed. Ooh. Uh, is he rest? If he re if he's rest, he has to go for it right here. He actually doesn't have another move that he can go for. He's not rest, so I think we win. <laughs> yeah, we win, actually. All I need to do from here is switch out and come back in. Really unlucky that he's not getting the poison. Every single attack from Muck has a chance to poison, assuming he's poison touch. Which he should be, I can't really think of any reason to not be poison touch. Yeah, I actually can't think of one good reason. I'm actually gonna save the Rotom. Yeah, I'm gonna go into this in case he goes for Sunny Day. Because Rotom is actually still faster than this, even at its top speed. Whereas... Uh... Actually, I don't have to do that. I can just go back into this. Like, for free. And he can't outspeed me. Yeah. <laughs> I can just go for Blizzard. Blizzard is 100% accurate due to the hail, so there's no chance I miss. And actually, I'm gonna save it again, because this could also be Sunny Day. And if that is Sunny Day, it's actually a much larger problem. Yeah, it's actually a much bigger problem if Victory Bell is Sunny Day. So we definitely don't want that. I'm gonna go back into Articuno and just go for Freeze Dry. Or I could go into Rotom, really. Uh, Rotom can take a hit. And honestly, from where I'm at with Aurora, or excuse me, <laughs> the names are throwing me off, man. From where I'm at with Articuno, it can actually take a hit from this, no doubt. So he's just going to go for Sludge Bomb, I'm going to go for Blizzard, and that's going to be game. Unless he's Sucker Punch, in which case I just sack this and then go Bear Tick. And then Icicle Crash, and then kill him that way. Yep, so that's game. Good game to that guy. Magma Dragoon. I'm pretty sure that that is like a Mega Man boss, right? Like Mega Man X4, I'm pretty sure. Let's keep using the snow team, this is ridiculous. This shouldn't be good, but it, it is. Oh, hmm, this is gonna be a hard game, guys. Oh, so there's a few different options that I have here. I'm thinking we lead with the bomb of snow. I think so. Uh, he leads with the Smeargle, good play, good play. I'm just gonna go right for the Blizzard, I do believe that it is my best play in this scenario. So let's see what he wants to do. I do go for the blizzard, and he goes down. So good game. Good game. <laughs> okay, that doesn't count. There's no way. Why is Mono Ice actually putting in work? That's just That makes no sense. Aurorus needs to be banned. <laughs> oh no, he has the one counter to my entire team. He has the red dice. I'm actually going to just lead with this, because if he wants to be cheeky and lead with, like, Aggron... I would imagine that he doesn't, but he actually does, so I can kill this immediately, which is exactly what I'm going to do. If he wants to switch around, that's fine. Nope, I am timid. He might have been jolly thinking that he outspeeds me, but I'm actually the timid nature. Now, I'm actually just going to blizzard this. Uh, he, Do I want to? I could actually do a few things. And my rocks are really nicer, too. I'm actually just going to rocks because I have Articuno with Hurricane. He, he bulks up. Why? See, that's not a very good play because, uh, for one, his special defense is not going to really allow him to take this hit very well. He actually goes for the Mog Punch, which I don't agree with either. Uh, really, Drain Punch was his play because he would have got a lot of HP back. I can still save this as a sack if I want to, but he could go for Drain Punch here, so I'm actually thinking that that's probably not the way. So I'll just sacrifice this. I still have a Bomb of Snow to reset Hail if I want. 
and I probably will want to, and I'm actually just going to go Articuno at this point. I don't think that I kill him with a freeze dry though is the big problem. Based on the fact that Max Special Attack from this only did, what did it do? It did 50. No, I have to Hurricane. But I connect. That's two for two. I've never hit two Hurricanes in my life. And that was really the only thing that he had to threaten me. Because now it's looking like the Bear Tick Alolan Sand Slash show. So it goes into this, which tells me he without a doubt has Rock Slide. Like, there's no chance that he doesn't have Rock Slide. Do I need this for anything else? Mm, not really. I think it's in my best interest to Hurricane. Yeah, he has the Stonage, but that's fine. That actually doesn't really, that doesn't really help him that much. Uh, because I'm just going to go into this. Even if he's Scarf, I do outspeed him with the olden uh, Alolan Sand Slash. Yeah, I, I never use that thing. I never use that thing. And actually, if I just kill this, I can't possibly lose, as far as I'm aware. So I'm just going to go for Ice Shard. Let him kill me. Hopefully, he does. Good. That's going to give me a free switch into Sand Slash, I guess. Yeah, and I still have Rotom as well, which is just faster than this. <laughs> Ban Moxie. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I think he th maybe thought he had me, but no, I'm jolly. I'm jolly just because of stuff like that. <laughs> oh, I'd say LOL now, but it's like, he might think I'm being a dick. I'm not. Uh, this seems a little bit weird, but honestly, this is the only thing he can do at this point. <laughs> Truth be told. Dang, man. I wish I had... Uh, What's it called? What's the move? Uh, Iron Head. Yeah. If I had Iron Head, the game actually just ended. But I, I don't. So I'm just going to let him kill me with Focus Blast, probably. Yeah, he does. So now I can Super Power, and then Rotom just kind of wins, I guess. Or at least that's the plan. I needed a free switch into this because, like... Well, I just did. <laughs> Honestly. I just did because I didn't have anything to switch into Focus Blast. Obviously, being that I am Mono Ice, Ice is weak to fighting. Really, the only fighting switch and I have is uh, Articuno. Which is not exactly a fighting switch in, as we saw. <laughs> the ranch is coming out. This will go down to an icicle crash. I'm fairly confident that even regardless... Yeah, regardless of the fact that Superpower lowered my attack... Wow, it hung on. It hung on, but if he's like Life Orb or something... Oh, I'm sorry, man. Flinch is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but that could actually help him out, depending on what his chat on is because if he's like substitute and I go for icicle crash and miss that'll actually be way better for him actually I think that maybe going Rotom was my play but I didn't want to risk him being superpower he's actually gonna go for the heat wave mm, if he's scarf I actually still should win because there's no way that a scarf heat wave can kill me I refuse to believe it Rotom's kind of bulky yeah Rotom's kind of bulky <laughs> GG to that guy nice guy how long has it been <laughs> Yeah, let's let's keep going for a few more. By the way, I went back and looked at the recording. <laughs> Can we just talk about that last guy's nicknames? I didn't even see any of those, and I said he was a nice guy. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I'm sure he is a nice guy, but God, golly, definitely didn't acknowledge that. So this guy should probably beat me, I think. But I said that the last few times and see where that got us. Uh, in this case, I think that honestly. Actually, with Banaroris. Uh, I, I see the Relicanth is his lead. And he does. He has the Sturdy as well. Uh, I am willing to sacrifice this. Yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice this. He's probably going to go for Stealth Rock. If I'm him, I would probably go for Stealth Rock. But I do have two ways to get rid of that. I'm faster for sure. And he's going to die to the hail. So I'm going to go for Giga Drain. He does have Sturdy, which allows him to hang on. But he can only kill me or get rocks. He gets rocks and he's going to go down to hail, which is great. So I'm still in. I keep my Abomb Snow alive. And I can rabbit spin on really everything with Sand Slash. Yeah, there's actually nothing that could stop me from rabbit spinning. He goes right into EE Fire, so oh no, <laughs> he has the flamethrower. <laughs> he has the flamethrower, folks. There's no way he doesn't have flamethrower, so I guess we're letting this die anyways. Fire Punch, same difference really. He's Life Orb though, thankfully. Uh, good, I didn't change it from rabbit spin, so I'm actually gonna go into this and I'm just gonna hit Earthquake. Yeah, I'm going to hit Earthquake. Even if he wants to go into Articuno, that's fine by me. Uh, that just means I'm going to go for a Rabbit Spin, honestly. And this thing's not exactly a threat to me, so I don't know why he thought this was the move. I can actually set up on him afterwards, too. Uh, although, 
If he has like a random hidden power of fire, that would be crazy. Uh, but he can't beat me either way. No, he just U-turns. So the stealth rocks are gone. That's great. That's amazing for me. Uh, so that play really got him nowhere, honestly. I, I kind of understand his mentality, but mm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I could just get damage on this, honestly, and there's really nothing he can do to stop that. And then afterwards, I can go into Aurorus knowing that I have speed. Uh, after that Earthquake, I don't really think that I need this for anything else. Although the Electivire could be a little bit annoying, but the problem is I don't want him to go for Substitute. I really don't want him to go for Substitute. He could have a lot of different moves, and I'm not 100% sure the Earthquake kills me. It probably should, especially if he's Choice Banded, but I'm just going to go for this and do a lot of damage. That does so much. He does go for Earthquake. He does kill me. Let's see an item. Hmm, we don't see an item. We don't see an item, so I'm not sure exactly what set this could be. Now, hmm. Uh, I want to see if he's choice banded or not. If he's choice banded, he has to switch here, without a doubt. Uh, but if he's not choice banded, then he must be Assault Vest, which is why I don't want to go into Aurorus. Actually, I'm Focus Sash. What the hell am I doing? He's actually going to go into his own Articudo. But I do have the road. If I get a crit, a little bit unfortunate. Also really surprised that I haven't missed yet <laughs> with Hurricane. Uh, this never happens to me. This never happens to me. He's just going to go for Roost. That's fine. Uh, hmm. I don't want him to go into Electivire. I'm just going to go for Blizzard. He goes for the U-Turb. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't want him to go into Electivire because he would be able to absorb it and get a speed boost on top of that, which would be very bad for me. Uh, thanks to Electivire's ability, of course. And that's not what we want. That's definitely not what we want. Basically, right now, I'm just trying to find an opportunity to get Bear Tick in. He's actually going to give me the damage on this thing that I need. Ooh, is that really a smart idea, though? I mean, I really need damage on this. I do miss a Blizzard. That's unfortunate, but what can I really say? I mean, I've been using super inaccurate moves thus far. I'm actually going to go into Aurora's at this point. He can't kill me in one hit uh, due to the Focus Sash. Which is actually a little bit worse for me, honestly. Uh, do I want... I'm actually just going to Earth Power this. Yeah, I'm just going to Earth Power this and take him out. Because this thing is actually a lot more annoying than it had any right to be. Uh, I was debating rocks for the Articuno, but it, it'll be fine. It'll be completely fine. He's well within range for Bear Tick to come through. And I'm even going to save this, I think. You hmm. turn Roost, what else would he have? Hurricane Freeze Dry or Substitute Freeze Dry? Oh, this might this might be a little bit boring because I think what I have to do is uh, do some Articuno Wars, unfortunately. Yeah, I think so. He's actually going to U-turn. I kind of expected that he may do that. Yeah, I kind of thought that he might do that. Now, here comes the Flappy. Uh, I don't really know what this thing does. <laughs> This is not a real Pokemon as far as I'm concerned. I'm just going to go for Substitute, see what he wants to do. Maybe he goes for some kind of status. He does. Cool. So now we're behind the Substitute. We're looking good. We are looking good. And he's constantly getting chipped by the hail as well. So I'm just going to start freeze drying, honestly. That does nothing. He is specially defensive without a doubt. I'm kind of surprised that breaks my Substitute. I can't lie. I'm going to sub again. I think he might go for T-Wave. Nope, he's just going to keep discharging. Huh. But that's fine. What I think I want to do is freeze dry once more to make sure that I kill him. Go into uh, Aurorus. Go into this. Go into Bear Tick. And then I should be able to just win by clicking Icicle Crash repeatedly. So I'm going to do it. I don't know how much defense he really has. Yeah, it's doing a lot. <laughs> well, I, I say it's doing a lot. Really, it's not relative to the fact that it's super effective and whatnot. But it's doing enough. I, I want him to kill me. <laughs> I'll freeze dry one more time and then I will... I'll substitute and let him kill me. Basically. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I could save this for the Maractus still. So I'm actually just going to sack the... Uh, the Aurorus. I just want to make 100% sure that he's in range. Honestly. So by sacking this, we basically... Oh, he got me? Really? Word? <laughs> Did he realize... I don't think he realized. I think he just switched out, realizing that I would kill him. 
Uh, but in the end of the day... At the end of the day, I'm just gonna sack this, really. He's gonna go for Avalanche? Hmm. And this is the only thing he has left that outspeeds me, I think. So I can just go into this now. Uh, do I need to Swords Dance? I think I should Swords Dance, regardless. Uh, I'm actually not sure if Maractus is faster than me or not. But it doesn't matter. If I Swords Dance here, I can't really lose. Because I have... I still have the Aurora stack, basically. So if I go for Icicle Crash here... You think this kills? I, I kind of want to know. Hold up. Yeah, it definitely kills. So this is definitely my way. Yeah, it's way more accurate. And now he can't win. Yeah, everything else is too low. And even if Maractus is somehow faster than me, it doesn't really matter. I suppose if he's somehow substitute on Bufalon, but there's no way. It, I did no damage to him. I did no kind of damage to him. And actually, he's going to go right out into it for me. So I can just superpower here and not have to risk missing. So that's great. Uh, obviously, the Maractus can come out now. I think it may be faster. No, he's going to go Flappy. So I think that that being the case, there's nothing he can do. He has static, so I have to go for Icicle Crash. We do connect, thankfully. Yeah, his static ability would... It basically gives him a 30% chance to paralyze me, which would be the end. I'm going to go into this and pray that he's not substitute. I kind of have to, unfortunately. So he's going to go for Spiky Shield. Fair enough. Uh, but now he loses 100% because if he doesn't protect... Uh, and if he chooses to kill me, he's just going to die to Blizzard, as he does. So good game to that guy. GG. Why are we on the climb with this team? <laughs> Why are we out here climbing the ladder with this? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Can we go undefeated today? That'd be great. That'd be nice. 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 I don't know if I'm really expecting that, though. It's mono ice. <laughs> I'm not really taking this too seriously. I want to win, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm out here to win. But there's only so much you can do, right? If I fight, if I fight like Himanchan Gerdur, <laughs> I'm just going to lose on the spot. Uh, none of that, though. This guy actually has a fairly ice weak team as well. Which is great for me. I think I'm just going to lead with Ban Auroris. The Auroris. <laughs> he does lead with Eel. That's kind of what I was anticipating. I still want to get up my rocks, though. Yeah, I still want to just get up my rocks here. As he probably Volt Switches, he Power Up Punches. That's not really a set. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that's definitely unfortunate. I can just Blizzard this, honestly. Which is going to put him in range. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Sorry, man. That's unfortunate. Yeah, he would have been able to kill me there. He would have been able to kill me there for sure. So now I'm just going to click Blizzard. It's actually almost kind of worse for me in a way because I would have been able to go into my Alone and Sand Slash and get my kill, but I can't really risk him unthawing, or unfreezing, rather. So I'm just going to stay in and keep clicking Blizzard. He actually doesn't unthaw. That kind of sucks. Yeah, he doesn't thaw out. So I'm just going to keep clicking Blizzard, and now I can keep this thing. I got it my rocks for free, basically. Uh, depending on what he goes out into. Uh, I have several appropriate switches, all of which are ice types, but thankfully he doesn't really have a great way to deal with that. He's actually going to go right into Mudsdale. I'm sort of expecting a Heavy Slam to come out here. Hmm. I could just Freeze Dry for the damage. That's probably the correct move. Yeah, I think so. And he could also be Assault Vest, so we really... He very well could have been Assault Vest there, so I just want to... Oh, he's actually going to go for rocks of his own. Interesting. So I'm just going to continuously freeze dry. Yeah, I didn't want to risk the Blizzard, of course. Without the hail, it's 70% accurate, and I think we know what that means. Although, to be fair, I've been having some hella luck with that. Uh, with the Absol, though, we're definitely going for Blizzard. This thing is a threat. <laughs> he's going to go for the Super Power. Oh, man, I hope this is not Choice Scarf. We don't see an item. We see no item. If he's choice scarf, do I lose to this? I honestly don't have any like kind of fighting switch in. You think that Rotom kills? I kind of I need to know. Uh, it's a little bit risky, so I think. Well, do I need the Rotom for anything else, really? Uh, not that I can see. I do think that this is choice scarf. I'll tell you that much. And what I will actually do is I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt, I think, and then I can actually go into Obama Snow, finish him off with Ice Shard, even if he stays in to kill me, which he does. I, I agree with that. But now I can take him out with Ice Shard. Yeah, Absol is stupidly powerful, by the way. <laughs> so we're gonna do just that, go into Obama Snow here. This will also keep out the Marowak, which is 
pretty scary if it can get behind a substitute or something like that. Ooh, makes the good play. That's not good for me at all because he can just go for like flamethrower, dude. <laughs> this might be a done deal. Ooh, I guess I should have probably. Hmm. Let's think this through. So I need, do I need this? What I don't think I need is the Articuno, but I'm going to be taking so much damage just by coming in. So we can pick between Beartick or Aurorus. Or a Sand Slash. <laughs> Those dang names, man. Yeah, I'm 99% sure he can't kill Articuno, so I'm just going to sack the Sand Slash, honestly. He should go for Flamethrower, most likely. Yeah, he does. But that's fine. I can go into Articuno now, and that's a free Hurricane. Or I should probably just Roost, honestly. Uh, he's still taking the chip damage. He's still taking the chip damage, and I don't think he's in range just yet for Bear Tick. Oh my gosh, I have the wrong HP. I'll just fix that now. Yeah, you always want to have an odd number of HP on uh, Stealth Rock Weak Pokemon, because that gives you one extra switch. Now, Flamethrower should do not a whole lot, as it does basically nothing. And now I can basically click that Hurricane, I think. Absol can't actually come in on me. He could even go for substitute. I really don't foresee him staying in. I don't. And if he wants to go into Rotom, that'll force the Volt Switch. But I, no, 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 no. The, the Hurricane makes more sense. Uh, if I'm him, I'd probably sack the Absol at this point. No, he goes Rotom. That's a fair play as well. Yeah, that's a fair play. Uh, do I Roost? Do we see an item? We actually don't see an item. I'm pretty confident that I can take a... I think I can take a Thunderbolt, honestly. Uh, this is, this is kind of tricky. I, I mean, Blizzard's not really his play here. I'm just going to go for a substitute. <laughs> uh, I'm scum. I'm scum. I was really just sacking that, to be honest. But I could have still went for sub if you went for Volt Switch. It doesn't do enough. I, I still don't know what his item is. Oh, that that sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. Now he can't even come back. Now he can't come back. That was that was lame. I'm not gonna lie. That was lame. I I'm offended for him. Yeah, I'm offended for him. But the thing is, <clears throat> interesting that he would bolt switch though. Yeah, interesting that he would bolt switch. And now we get it with the freeze dry. The reason I didn't go with this. Uh, this freeze dry play the first time Silk Valley was in because I thought he would switch out for sure and I wanted to get more damage on Rotom if I could. Uh, that confusion was very lame though, especially how he hit himself twice. Uh, what I was going to do is sack and then go into a Bomb of Snow because I could have taken a hit from there uh, and I would have either forced him out and I would have got a kill with, uh, a, I don't know, with a Bomb of Snow. <laughs> Those names are tripping me up. I'm, I'm too tired. Ooh, he goes for the Defog. Good play, good play. Good play for sure. So this isn't over just yet. So here comes the Marowak. I have no choice but to sack. I cannot let it set up. There's no way. Yeah, he takes me out. That is the good play. That is the correct play. Now I can go into this. I do outspeed, without a doubt. And I can go for Giga Drain. Which is going to get me a kill. Now he's Choice Scarf on the Absol, which makes me think that he may not have Sucker Punch. I can't see Sucker Punch Scarf, but hey, <laughs> weirder things have happened. Weird things that for sure happen. And the, the bigger issue would be that he is. He's Sucker Punch Scarf. The bigger issue is that... Oh, I think he got me. Yeah, he got me. Dang. I should have predicted that. Because the bigger issue is that if he's Jolly, he's going to outspeed me. And honestly, I'm thinking he's Jolly. I would imagine he's Jolly. If he's going to be Scarf, right? Why not? That does so much. We do connect the Ice of the Crash. I still need to hit one more. I still need to hit one more. I'm not going to say GG unless he says it. Uh, not that this wasn't a fun game. Uh, I'll say it now, though, because he kind of deserved that. <laughs> he kind of deserved that, honestly. It's a good game to that guy. Why do you say hello? <laughs> it's not that funny. I mean, I hacked the hell out of his Rotom, so I can't really say, like, I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking. I'm not going to pretend to be in that guy's head, but Mono Ice putting in some work. All right, actually, I think we are going to end it there. Uh, pretty successful little session there. Uh, 
I kind of wish I would use the Trick Room team a little bit more, but I, I started having a lot of fun with this Mono Ice. This should not be this good. <laughs> this should not be this good. Uh, that last game was a little bit unfortunate. We just kind of lost due to some unfortunate circumstances. Although, to be fair, it, it went it went for both sides. <laughs> it went for both sides. I think I could have played around the stuff I got on him a little bit more. Uh, like, if I didn't get the confusion on that Rotom, I think I could have played around that a little bit more than obviously missing the most crucial attack of the game. But what can you do? It's just part of the game, really. Uh, so, to anybody that enjoys these, thank you for watching, guys. And uh, I still want to, I still want to do something like next weekend, or maybe we could take some uh, subscriber battles or viewer battles or whatever. Uh, it just didn't come to fruition this weekend, man. I, I guess that's how you can tell I'm tired because I start using big words. <laughs> uh, it, it just didn't come, it just didn't come to be this weekend, man. I just my schedule filled up a lot faster than I thought it would. Not gonna lie. Uh, but that said, thank you all for watching. I hope that y'all had a good time with this. I definitely did, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Peace.